what's going on guys welcome back to a brand new video on the channel inside of today's video we're going to be taking a look at the 10 worst star powers and gadgets in brawl stars right now so i've not done this for about six months now but there's been been a huge influx of new players or even returning players to brawl stars so i thought i'll just go through this list again so if you've got any of these gadgets or star powers you're either really unlucky or just stop using them and just never purchase them as well so the first one is going to be shocky so with jesse this stop power can be good at 500 trophies but anything outside of that is absolutely terrible so there's a big few drawbacks it actually reduces the range by 51 percent as well with every single shocky bounce but not only that the scrappy tour is just really inaccurate anyways you literally just have to move in a straight line and you dodge every shot so I just don't think this star power is useful. So next up on the list, we have Gus's first star power, which gives you an extra 100% healing with every single ghost. So it goes up to 3,200, which seems good. But when you think about it, you pretty much always got to use Kooky Popper, even with the nerf. So there's hardly any spirits even on the map because you use the extra gadget gear as well so maybe if the game lasts three minutes you might be able to get a couple of extra heals off but when you think about it the other stop is just way better and you don't actually use gust to heal really do you so next up on the list we have a mama's hug so with this star power every single shot you hit you heal 96 per hit which is just terrible when you think about it because a lot of times you're just going to put pam's turret in a safe spot and you're going to be healing for 1100 a second whilst you're going to be healing 96 per shot which just doesn't feel rewarding whatsoever and especially just considering all the inflated numbers right now this just doesn't really help out pam whatsoever okay so we have grom stop power called foot patrol so whenever you have your super you get an additional 15 percent movement speed so i bet there are a few underrated use cases for this but more often than not you want to just throw out your grom super as quickly as possible because it's just such a good super but not only that the other star power you get value out of every single shot you throw out so i feel like again a lot of times you're not actually using the extra movement speed because you just want to throw the super on someone as quickly as possible next up we have bonnie star power called wisdom tooth so this star power has been useless since its release i'm really surprised it's not received any sort of buff so all it does is when you hit either an obstacle or an opponent it will split off in four directions but the range is just terrible you only get an extra 25 percent damage as well it's very very rare that you'll be able to connect that extra percent of damage onto someone so yeah the star power literally useless next up on the useless star power list we have grounded with bell so this received a buff about six months ago or so and it was a little bit underrated but at the same time this star power just has never made sense to me because even though you stop the enemy from reloading for five seconds it doesn't remove any existing ammo they have so maybe by the time the five seconds is up with this star power they only just use the ammo they had up already and especially if they're a fast reloading brawler anyways it's not really going to hurt them and again even if you connect your super onto someone you're actually just going to kill them faster so by the time you've even potentially got value out of it they're probably dead anyway so i just don't get this star power it's just not useful whatsoever the next up we have sam's second star power called remote recharge so this star power again has been completely useless since its introduction so hopefully it's getting a rework soon but all it does is when you throw out sam's super Super. when people stand near it, it automatically recharges his super back so then he can get his knuckles back but it just doesn't make sense with him that i just don't get their stop power next up we have hank's second stop power called take cover so when you're literally on top of a wall you get 20 percent shield reduction but it's literally if you're hugging a wall so if you stay off it a little bit then you'll remove that shield from you so this stop power for me just doesn't make sense because you don't want to hug a wall the entire game right so next up on the list we have chester's stop power sneak peek so this stop power i thought just hasn't made sense since this introduction again another you useless star power so you'll get to see what your next super is but more often than not you don't really need to see what your next super is because there's only five supers people have just got used to all of his supers anyways and especially the person who uses chester and also you've got to think if you use the star power you're removing an extra bit of dps from chester which is the main reason why he's even slightly viable so you just shoot yourself in the foot if you use the star power and lastly on the star power list we have hard candy with mandy so you get a 30 percent shield when you're focused up but again you're actually removing the best thing about uh, mandy which is the other star power which gives you an increase in speed when you're focused so 
if you switch out to stop power, you just, your shots are so slow. There's no point even being focused because it's like the shot is going in slow motion. It's just terrible. And also the super is slower as well. So you get even less value out of your super. It just doesn't make sense to even use the other stop power. So now moving on to the worst gadgets in the game right now, starting off with Shelly's gadget fast forward. So this might seem like a fun gadget, especially because one gadget's like a sniper. One of them is just to get close and personal with Shelly. But this one just feels a little bit, I don't know, janky. It just doesn't really feel that smooth. You compare it to the Max Dash and it's just terrible in comparison. So I think something similar to a Max Dash would be pretty nice for this gadget. So next up we have Dynamite's gadget called a Fidget Spinner. So in comparison to his other gadget, his other gadget is one of the best in the game. But Fidget Spinner is just really RNG based. You know, sometimes you might be able to get a couple of uh, Dynamite sticks onto him and that's nearly 5k damage. But on the other hand, you could just completely miss everything and you're just sat around spinning and you're not actually able to use your main attack which is just pretty annoying. But I think this could be underrated on super bushy maps, but other than that, there's just hardly any use case for it. Next up, we have Penny's second gadget called Trusty Spyglass. So since Penny's rework, which was over a year ago, probably even way further, I don't think I've ever used this gadget. Sorry Barrel's a good one anyways, but there's just been zero use case for this. And even if you're up against noobs, I just think the gadget is just so slow that the shot just hardly hits anybody. Just don't really find it useful. So next up, we have Carl's first gadget called Heat Ejector. So literally for years now, since gadgets were introduced three plus years ago, this gadget has been one of the worst in the game. It just doesn't really help out Carl whatsoever. It does help him have a little bit of extra DPS, but at the same time, it doesn't really make an impact in most interactions. So next up on the list, we have Jackie's second gadget called Rebuild. So before Unbreakable Walls, I thought this gadget was really underrated on some specific maps, but now there's just hardly any use case. As I said, Unbreakable Walls, and especially with how Jackie is right now, you really need her first gadget. I just hope that they maybe buff the radius of this. I don't know because it's not really useful right now. So next up on the worst gadget list, we have Soul Switcher with Gus. Again, another gadget that has just gone so, I won't really say under the radar, it's just never been used. His other build has just been used every single time since Gus is released. I feel like this is a tiny bit underrated though because you only lose 5% of your HP for an instant ghost. But at the same time, you're then sacrificing a lot of DPS, which Gus 100% needs. So I don't know how to feel about this. Maybe with a few more tweaks, it could be usable. Next up, we have BB's second gadget called Extra Sticky. So even after a couple of buffs, this gadget is just still terrible to me because you're sacrificing healing if you switch to this gadget. But not only that, it's quite inconsistent to hit BB's bubble every single time, especially if you want to get value from it. You pretty much have to try and snipe someone from far away and good players would just be able to do that with ease. So I just don't really find too much use case for this one. But next up, we have Griff's second gadget called Coin Shower. So with Griff's and next Next shot, you get 33% more coins. So that sounds good, right? 33% more DPS. But it just, with Griff's attack, it's pretty hard to consistently hit shots on someone. The only time that's going to be useful if a Fang or someone really aggro is literally on top of you as a Griff. But that's just, if they're really dumb, that's the only chance you have that of happening. Plus, you have to switch out of the piggy bank gadget, which again is the main reason why you use Griff right now, or just ever in the meta use it for a wall break. So for me, I just don't get the use case for this gadget. Next up on the trash gadget list, we have Crash Test with Bonnie. So again, this one's had a few tweaks through the years, but it's not really helped it out whatsoever. So it's kind of cool how you have one gadget in one form and another gadget in the other. But Crash Test, I just hope they probably buff the dash range because that's the biggest thing, right? You have no range in smaller form with Bonnie. And dealing 2,300 damage is okay as well. But again, you're just sacrificing a lot switching to this gadget. It's just always been terrible. So next up on the list, we have Sneaky Sneakers with Max. So after three seconds, you will return back to the spot which you first placed the gadget, which sounds really fun, but it's only three seconds. This actually got nerfed in the past. Like, it used to be four seconds, which I thought was much better because you have more opportunity to make plays. Then it got moved back to three. I don't really understand that. Also, if you die, you don't actually go back to that spot. Maybe that could be pretty cool how if you die, then you just go back to that spot automatically and regain all your HP. That would give it a little bit of love, but since its introduction years and years ago, it's never been useful. Okay, so moving on to the final gadget, which is probably the worst one out of everything in Brawl Stars. It is Mobley Love with Eve. So, of course, I'm not including as well RTs in the line because everyone knows that's just trash anyways. But yeah, with Eve, Mobley Love 
uh, I just don't really understand it because mechanically it just doesn't make sense to me what I wish for you know it does sound pretty cool how you can heal your allies and you instead of dealing damage but most time you use the hatchlings just to tank damage just like you would with mr p porters uh, but what i wish for anyways is when the hatchlings actually spawn out of the egg is you get to choose right whether they're healing or damage you should just be able to do that once they're hatched anyways you can't actually do it you have to click the gadget before the hatch which again you might be full hp and you've already clicked the gadget button and then you don't actually need that extra healing it's just really weird for me so i hope maybe in the future if you know if you take like a piper shot to the face you could just quickly switch over the hatch and so then it can just run and heal you that would be really cool That'd be a good way to buff them. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know whether I missed out on any trash gadgets or stop powers in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.